My name is Kiran Khan. I'm an international Olympian swimmer for Pakistan. I went to the Olympics in 2008, Beijing Olympics, and I've been Pakistan's national champion 22 times uh, since 2001 to 2017. Around about, I think, 61 international competitions that I've done for Pakistan. My <laughs> day looks like I wake up six in the morning. I do my training. Two and a half hours of training. Then I have a 30 minute break in which I can have my breakfast or so whatever. And then we have a 45 minutes of gym. Then we have lunch at about 12 or 1. And then we have swimming at 3. And then we get done with our swimming at about 5, 5:30. And then we again have gym. And then we have dinner. And then the, we go back to sleep. And then we repeat this again. So basically, when I'm swimming, I have no social life. So once you want to become an elite swimmer, you have to unsocialize yourself for good 15 weeks. Uh, I think swimming chose me. My father was a uh, international swimmer himself, and he wanted all of his kids to learn swimming. It was just in my blood. It was in my uh, family, and my family is very supportive of sports. They encourage girls to be in sports. So I think that's what my father did, and I love his decision, and I like he what he made me today. I think when I started in 2001, there were no swimming pools for females. There was no, uh, you know, atmosphere for female and for male and female swim swimmers to swim together to have a female coach. I think now after 17 years, which I see now for my sister because she is also a swimmer for Pakistan. Now I see there are more facilities. Uh, Even clubs are more accommodating towards female swimming in uh, in the club. Now they're accommodating uh, us with uh, female coaches as well. I think uh, depends on which region you're swimming in. Lahore and Karachi are the most famous ones. We have a lot of swimmers from Karachi and Lahore, and Islamabad is still developing. I never got discriminated from what I do for swimming that I do. Obviously, uh, it was um, a big deal for my family to let me swim because we have shorter swimming costumes and stuff like that. But I've never got discriminated for it. I think I've always been encouraged. And if somebody do does discriminate me, that's his problem, not mine. <laughs> I was not allowed to swim uh, in the clubs with my father, and so my father cannot train me in the ladies' time, and I can't swim in the men's time. So that's why we made a scene of making this house and to build my own swimming pool, so I don't have to hassle down this thing all the time. It was uh, causing me a lot because I had to spend a lot of time outside Lahore out because it, it was causing me my education as well. And uh, this is why I made a swimming pool in my house, so I can swim wherever, whenever I want, and whatever time I want. And then I thought I should not just keep it to myself. I should open the doors for the kids who wants to swim. So that's how this started. That I made an acad. I turned my swimming pool into an academy for younger kids to who wants to learn swimming and who wants to be an elite swimmer. We have trained over 100 kids who are representing Pakistan right now. If you want to pursue swimming, make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. It's not something that you want to just enjoy swimming. You do enjoy when you win it. When you're doing it, you never enjoy training. You never enjoy the time we spend in the gym. Obviously, your body changes, your whole uh, personality changes. You know, so swimming is the only sport that you know changes you entirely, from your build to your look, from your behavior. It changes. It makes you more, you know, punctual. It makes you more stable in your life. Uh, people are afraid to. I think women are still afraid of swimming because they think that they might get broad shoulder. But that's a part of swimming. That's the beauty of swimming. If you want to be a swimmer, get ready to change the entire you.